So, you want to make a cool neon effect? Hey guys, welcome back to Tetsu by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 once again, taking a look at how to create a cool neon effect using uh, our monkey, our, our favorite little monkey. We're going to go ahead and uh, hit B to box select, drag a box over top of our uh, cube and our lamp, and hit delete. Just get rid of that because we don't need it. Uh, hit Shift A, and we're going to add in a mesh monkey, and then we're going to grab our camera, hit 0 on an umpad to go into the camera's view. Open up the side panel here and hit lock camera to view. And we'll just pan around just to get a bit of a better angle on our monkey. Something like something like that. Look, look, looks pretty good. Yeah. Then we'll uncheck lock camera to view so we can move around now. Uh, now, this is a pretty simple uh, thing to do, which, which is really cool. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that panel now. We'll open up the modifiers tab and add a modifier. Um, and this modifier will be the wireframe modifier. You can see instantly now we got a really pretty cool looking uh, monkey already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate our monkey. Right click to cancel that movement and we're going to delete that wireframe, uh, that wireframe modifier. You can see now we have this really cool looking like Spider-Man webbing, which looks really awesome. Um, but if we were to go, if we were to go into uh, render viewport shading, you can see we have these really nice edges here, which is really, really what we need. So I'm going to go ahead and select that wireframe, go to the materials tab, and add in a new material. This material will not be principled BSDF. It will be a emission shader. We'll go ahead and change the emission strength to like three, and the color to like this nice blue. Maybe we'll change it to five. Uh, strength, maybe something like that. Yeah, sure. And then with our actual monkey here, if we go back into, um, if we go, if we if we stay in render shading, you can viewport shading. You can see how we have this really really cool looking uh, blue outline of our monkey, which is pretty sweet. We can go ahead and go back to our uh, modifier tab, change the thickness up, make it a bit thinner, make it a bit thicker, um, something like that. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I like it a bit thinner than that. Uh, back into our camera view, we can go ahead and do some post-processing now, which is the bulk of the actual uh, scene, which makes everything look much better. We can go ahead to the World tab and change the color to solid black. Um, we can turn off these, this overlays right now so we can see what we're doing. We'll go ahead and go to the Render tab and turn on uh, Screen Space Reflections, which has a really nice uh, effect there. You can see we have a little bit of uh, coolness going on. We'll actually go and, and split our window into two by dragging this in half and changing this uh, left-hand side to the shader editor here. Um, and with our monkey selected, not the wireframe, with our monkey selected, we'll go ahead and hit uh, and, and assign this material, the default material that we had. And then maybe we'll do some like uh, metallic stuff. We'll, we'll turn metallic all the way up, we'll turn specular all the way up, and maybe we'll turn roughness almost all the way down. Now, we don't want it to be solid all the way down, almost all the way down. Yeah, something like that. Looking pretty cool. Uh, that looks pretty good. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and close this uh, shader editor, also known as a node editor. Uh, we'll go to the render tab and also check on bloom. And bloom just looks so great. Look at that. All right, so we can leave it really big like this, or we can downsize this and change the radius down a little bit, maybe get a little bit more of a subtle effect, or we can go really insane, have this really cool uh, scene gradient, which looks really cool. I'm going to select our camera. Go to the camera tab, go to viewport display, and change the passer part out uh, all the way out, all the way up, so we can't see any of this outside of the camera, which is really pretty cool. Pass a part out, pass pass a part. You, you know what I'm saying. Uh, we got we got a couple more things to do, or, or we could do a couple more things. Um, but this is pretty good the way it is. We can uh, we can uh, leave it the way it is, and everything is looking pretty cool just like that. So um, yeah, we can change the threshold to make this not as as bright or brighter. If we really want to, that looks good the way it is, though. I'm going to leave it just like that. We can go ahead and hit render image, and we can see what this is going to look like. I like it. I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's a really, really cool neon effect uh, that we can create in Blender 2.8. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye-bye.